Day. Nine on your side's Evan Millward is in Bellbrook, Ohio, the hometown of the alleged gunman, Connor Betts. And we have Paula Suro in our studio who will break down Governor Mike DeWine's proposed legislative action. We do want to begin, though, tonight with an update on the investigation into the Dayton shooting. Nine on your side's Evan Millward again in Bellbrook, the hometown of the accused gunman. Evan? Yeah, we learned a significant amount in the last hour live here on nine on your side. We learned the FBI is now involved because they say Betts had violent uh, ideologies. All the while, as you can see here, Bellbrook police, the chief, in fact, have been on guard on the Betts family street. They have been here since the start of this investigation. The chief telling us earlier that the family was grateful for the turnout at a vigil last night here in Bellbrook, and they've been working on a statement today to give us looking for a person that they trust to make that statement, maybe as early as this evening. We have heard today as well from two of Connor Betts' ex-girlfriends who say he struggled with mental health issues and, quote, scared kids in high school. One hour ago, Dayton police told us they had evidence he'd been looking for information and inspiration that promoted violence. The materials reviewed thus far reveal that the individual had a history of obsession with violent ideations to include mass shootings and had expressed a desire to commit a mass shooting. Subsequent material has revealed an orientation toward violent ideologies which elevate this case to one of federal interest. And that means the FBI is now investigating part of the Oregon District, uh, Oregon District mass shooting that happened early Sunday morning. They also said just a little bit ago, Betts was not on the FBI radar that they can tell, and they do not believe that this attack was racially motivated. They are looking for more information about uh, from anyone who may have known Betts as he was looking for this information, this violent information and developing what they called violent ideologies, there is an FBI tip line open. It is 1-800-CALL-FBI. We're live in Bellbrook tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.